There has been an excitement about the budget to do with the burial arrangement of the late Right Honorable Jacob Olaya. What is your view about the excitement and the complaints? And I, I well, there is a Jacob Olanya qualifies for a state burial. That means the state takes over the cost for the burial. Uh, personally, I don't know the ingredients of the state burial, but we also read in the papers that the budget is about 2.5 billion. 2. Yes, 2. but they again billion. wrote as if it's being revised. So we, we really, but. Whatever it is that we really say, individuals should not make Olanya's uh, funeral for personal gain, for making money. Because if it is about uh, uh, the, the kind of things they are trying to propose, for example, our members of parliament from the north are really explaining themselves to the population in the north why they are asking for 300 million as M members of parliament. And yes. it's becoming difficult for them to explain. So are you saying there could be some people that may take advantage of this barrier to earn some money? I don't know because Governor Bank of Uganda, because you see this is another, the Governor Bank of Uganda died and the, the cost was about 400 million okay. for burying him. He I, died I, I, very I, near here in Nairobi. Yes, uh, but, but this one for the... the the, the one that is, uh, yes, because you can talk of uh, paying the hospital bills and transportation of the body to home and then uh, organizing national prayers and all that. It might have some cost, but I think if the government is revising, then it should revise it properly so that it shouldn't be seen as if we are spending public money to bury our brother. Personally, some of us as leaders from the North, we are contributing our personal money to us, that is the normal thing we really need to do. We are contributing personal money to make sure that we have some money in the budget for the education of his children, to take care of his home, uh, alongside what government is planning for the family. But it is not in our culture to benefit when somebody is in the family. Oh, no, but let me understand you well, for the benefit of somebody watching us. Are you also in agreement with those who think this could be too much money? for the little Lanyas burial? I'd rather they use the money for something that can benefit the family or the community. Uh, but if you're saying 2.4 billion, 2.5 billion is for feasting over somebody's uh, coffin, to me, as Todong, I find it a bit too much. Uh, because you'll spend 2.5 billion for two, three days or for one week, and then the, the third week, the family is lacking. The children are home, not in school. The house in the village is not complete. The father needs medical care. He cannot be care, taken care of. So really, it is, it's about rationalization of the money. How do you... Uh, and, and there's also a culture in Uganda that we have seen that uh, somebody dies, then the bereaved family is to organize transport to transport mourners. You feed mourners and you transport them back to their homes. Mm. And in other places, you also give them money for border borders to take them up to their compound. That is really an African. We, we don't do such. When you're running and you're mourning somebody, you contribute. Definitely. You don't take from the family. Mm. And then so the public would have, we, we the actually, that's what we do. We contribute. We don't ask for anybody. If government is coming that we give our brother a good sign of fine, Government contribution will come, but we are contributing. We are fundraising as the Chile people. Who do you think could brother. have come up with oh. this budget? I, I can't tell. I, I can't tell uh, because I still need to know. Because there is state burial, there is a there is a national burial. There is so there are cat categorizations. So we are yet to know the items that are allocated to this. Budget. Because actually, the other day, during his maiden first sitting as Deputy Speaker, mm -hmm. the Honorable Taibo, uh, the State Minister for Finance, that is the Honorable Ugolobi, mm -hmm. came up with a proposal for is it a supplementary of 1.8 billion to, to facilitate this very barrier. It has reduced from 2.5 to 1.8. I think they needed something to top up, probably something like that, but what well, whatever, whatever it is, needed the, 1.8 billion. The, the most crucial cost to me had the cost of transporting the remains from U.S. to Uganda. Yes. 
and making sure that the grave is made, the coffin is there, and is transported to his final rest place. The others are just, uh, the, the others are what I would call... Uh, exaggeration? Not really exaggeration, because really feeding, water, prayers, what... The others can be adjusted. The others can be adjusted. I saw some budget. I was the chairman of uh, uh, General Locates Barrio. Yes. And that was a time when COVID was still at... Uh, at the, the, the Uganda police was like, for us, when a general at that rank dies, this is the budget, standard. Mm. Anything out of that, the Uganda police cannot afford. Good enough, the generals in the Uganda Police Force and also in the U Uganda People's Defense Force. Okay. So the two forces both joined and, brought some money. and they brought some money, and uh, which was not even much. How big was the budget, if we were to compare? I, uh, the, the budget was not in cash, they were in, in items. Mm. The, the, you ask for food, they bring portion and beans. <laughs> they, ask for, they ask for coffee, they bring coffee. They brought it. They ask for this, they bring items. But they do don't think, bring money. Do you think at that period you went... Up to a billion feeding, feeding the community that came to to Pade to yes. Bari Lokech. We yes, Uganda Police and UPDF contributed money that was used to feed uh, the gathering uh, some mourners, mm. but the bulk of the feeding that took place in that area, we contributed money, and when we we, we it, our yes, but did, did it come to a billion shillings? Uh, it was less than a billion. It was less than a billion. Yeah, it was less than a billion. Okay. But anyway, the speaker being a speaker, uh, that is at another level. Okay. So that can make us have maybe some benefit of doubt, but still we feel there is need for proper explanation. Because to the people up in the north, they might think we are using the death of our brother to make money. Uh, the organizing committee is not explaining properly what this money is going to do the items that are mapped to this money, people are wondering because it has gone out to the airwaves, to the radio stations. So there is already a debate. Why are we spending this amount of money? That is already like a budget for a quarter of a local government. <laughs> a, a town council. A town council. So <laughs> really, it is something that uh, people are asking and questioning. So it, they need to be explained to, to them. To, to them to Somebody understand. was saying the mistake is not the money. Mm. The mistake is government coming out to tell the public at a time like this? No, the public, the public should know. This is public money. The public should know. Why do you spend and you keep it silent? People should know what government is spending. First, and we are grateful for whatever government is spending for our brother, Jacob Olanya's funeral. Because when he was sick, he was flown out of the country. And he, he was at about 1.7 billion. Yes. Of course, others are also raising issues about it, but at least it helped to take him to a good hospital. Mm which diagnosed his case, his tried to save his life. Mm. Uh, now is he gone, the body has to be brought back home, which is a very important thing to do. And it has to be, of course, we have to pay for that. It's not easy to transport a uh, dead body. It's, it's more expensive than actually transporting somebody who is alive. And, and so he was in a, the body was in a funeral home, and you have to pay for that. And then when the body comes, the treating, the coffin, and then the family members who are in the U.S. who are coming with him. So part of this budget, I'm sure, is going for that, which is normal, which is very okay. Mm. And then when the body comes, we have national prayers. We are, they have to hire a tent from photogenics and all this. I don't know the detail of it, but that's what I'm thinking through loudly. Mm. Hiring tents, hiring even when hiring you look at this it in general, you think... At least there could be... And then they are, they are doing some work <coughs> at home to renovate his house yes. that he did not finish. I don't know whether partly that is part of the money that they're using to do the renovation also at his house, uh, where the body is going to be resting. So there is need for somebody to come out and explain. And break it down. And break it down. People will understand. Okay, but you, you, leaving you, it lump sum like that, mm. uh, different people. Honorable, you seem to be part of the group that thinks this is too much money. Yes, it is. It is.